about? I first learned about Shepherd's Hill Academy in 2013. Um, there was several staff members working here that I um, got to know through a local college, Tequa Falls College, and um, encouraged me to come out here and visit and just see what was going on. So I just came out for a tour one day and just kind of fell in love, um, honestly, with the nature component out here and just the fact that um, there were troubled teens looking for hope. So I came on board as a residential um, staff at that time, and I worked just a few nights a week. Uh, I have four daughters, and I was home and homeschooling at the time, and it gave me an opportunity. I had been praying for a way to give back for a while. I've always loved teens. So I would work a couple nights a week with the girls as a residential program. So. Excellent. So talk a little bit about your role and your involvement with the ministry now. So my involvement and role um, with Shepherd's Hill Academy has changed over the last few years. I started out as a direct care staff, um, working with the girls um, nights and weekends. And then about four years ago, Beth came to me and there was a role in admissions that had opened up and the timing was perfect for our family. And so I've been serving as a senior admissions coordinator for the last four years. Excellent. How would you describe the vision or the mission or the heartbeat of Shepherd's Hill Academy? I think the, the mission here at Shepherd's Hill Academy is to bring hope and healing into teens and families. And um, it's just a blessing to see that happen daily. Um, my role in that is to be a listening voice on the end of phone calls throughout the day and then to help facilitate and help support families as they move towards the enrollment process here. Excellent. So how is the Lord using this ministry to share the gospel? Let's talk about evangelism. How the Lord is definitely um, using this ministry to share the gospel. Um, even though we're a faith-based family, many of our families um, have either lost what that once held for them as a family or they don't know um, what role faith can play in hope and healing. So I think on an admissions end, I get to share that you know multiple times a day, even if families don't enroll. Um, but for our families who are here, they're going to get 12 months of... Um, I think the faith refreshed. I mean, faith in a new way, faith intersecting life and family, um, and just hope that um, faith in Jesus gives us. That's awesome. Um, talk about discipleship. How are you guys making little disciples? Yeah, I think um, Shepherd's Hill Academy is super intentional when it comes to discipling our teens. I think we really do understand that for many of our students, they're disassociating with faith. And so even if they have a shared faith background with their family, um, troubles have come their way and they don't know how to reconcile that with faith. And I think what we do well here is just simply love them um, and nurture that as they grab a hold of that. So through intentional ways like devotions at night, leaving them something um, solid before they go to bed every night, a, a word from the Lord from our staff team who are deeply committed to personal faith um, is huge. And then they do receive mentoring here, especially if they um, desire and seek that out. So it's, a, it's very intentional in that way. And then we do provide Bible, Bible classes, a Christian worldview in, in our academy. Um, so those are intentional ways that we foster faith in our students. But I also think we just do that simply through loving them in a genuine way. Awesome. Um, talk about some of the circumstances and situations these kids are coming from, the family dynamics. Yeah. Um, this is a difficult time to be a teenager. We're in a difficult culture. Um, many of our teens have, um, are living in gray. You know, lines used to be clearly, when I was raised and back when I was a teenager, um, the lines were clear, and I think that they've been smudged in our culture. And so they're looking for something to anchor them. Um, so I think they're coming from anything from coping with that confusion by using substances. Vaping is rampant right now in our culture and that's just a, a way to become addicted to something that helps us cope and it just gets heavier from there. So we, we see that. We see depression, anxiety obviously directly tied to tech addiction and um, just the, the vortex that sucks our kids down into that. And so they think that um, that provides entertainment, but it's really depriving them of anything, just really life-giving, the relationships they desperately want. Um, so I think we're seeing a lot of lonely, sad, anxious teenagers right now. Um, and also school. School, as students struggle, many of our students have struggled in school in the past, and when they hit high school, it becomes the rigor 
becomes more difficult for them. And so here at Shepherds Hill, um, we are a great um, opportunity for them. It's very focused. It's very individualized. Um, so students who are struggling in school, um, we're just a great fit. Good. How can Christians get involved and support a ministry like Shepherds Hill Academy? Shepherds Hill Academy needs your prayer more than, more than anything. I think um, we've seen the results of the pandemic on, on our teens and our um, people right now who are just really struggling. So in admissions, um, you know, there are a lot of families who are hurting. So first of all, pray for families in, the, in here in the U.S. and, and all over the world. Um, pray for those students we have here at Shepherds Hill, that their hearts would be genuinely transformed here. Um, that they would leave Shepherd's Hill resilient and committed to changing uh, the world around them. Um, pray for our scholarship fund. We desperately um, want to grow that fund so that we can help families and assist them in, in coming to Shepherd's Hill. Oftentimes that is a roadblock, and we've been able to bless many families over the last few years in helping make this a reality for them. So those are the things that come to mind. Very good. So why do you do what you do? Why do I do admissions here at Shepherds Hill? Um, I love my, my job here at Shepherds Hill. I don't even consider it a job. Um, it's an opportunity to serve, to speak with hurting um, parents every day, to be a part of the process and teens getting the help they need. So I do it because I get to see lives transformed. Yeah. Very good. Is there anything else the Lord put on your heart to share with us about Shepherds Hill Academy? Um, be a part of what we do here, whatever that looks like, whether through prayer or support or visit, referring families to us. Most of our enrollments, many of our enrollments come by word of mouth, whether it's through a radio program that we host or sound bites here or there or therapists and psychologists. Please be a part of what we're doing and send hurting families our way. Mm -hmm.